You wanna knock it out of the park for the big game? Let me show you how to make 12 cheeseburgers at a time, slider style, in five minutes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with dicing all my onions up, getting my mise en place ready. We're gonna go through and make our burger sauce. The first thing that you wanna understand for like a solid burger sauce, fry sauce, anything like that, you want two parts mayo, one part ketchup, Everything else from there is kind of like your prerogative. I'm gonna go with about a cup of mayo, half a cup of ketchup, and half a teaspoon of each one of my spices. Don't forget, you want a little bit of salt and pepper in it. I feel like that's something that's obvious, so I don't necessarily say it as much, as often as I should, but I know I should say it more often. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, there we go. And this is from dill pickles. We're not doing sweet pickles. Add in a little bit of that pickle juice. Mix it all up, and that is a solid base for a very versatile everyday burger sauce. Okay, let's toast buns. So the foundation of this recipe is based off of using the King's Hawaiian Rolls. The reason why is because they come perfectly together just like this. Cut these, toast the buns, make the patty, set the whole patty, cut it out, tear it apart later, couple minutes and you make 12. You can do 12 at a time. Check this out. Sheet tray. Uh, if you have like a cookie sheet at home or something in similar to size for the Hawaiian buns, you want it a little bit bigger. And the reason why you want it bigger is because we're gonna use 80-20 beef, so you're gonna lose a lot of it when you're cooking in like fat and moisture loss. The beef you want about two pounds and you're just gonna lightly spread it out because when you're done, you want all of this to kind of be a quarter inch thick, not very thick, so we can kind of see where it's going and how much we're at. Another sheet of parchment paper right on top. This is gonna make it really easy to, to smash down. And you take, smash it down. Make sure they're all nice and even, take it off. Take a peek at it. Looks lovely. If you have a little bit sticking out on the edge, it's totally fine. Take off your parchment paper. There you go. Obviously, we need to season it. You want to salt and pepper it. And then this side is the side that's going to end up down. Make sure it has a good distribution of seasoning on it, a good amount of salt, so you get that mired reaction, that crust on it. Just like, like French toast, I'll show you. Guys, we've got our grill ripping hot. This thing is totally smoking, you can see it. It's a lot easier to see when it's colder out like it is now, but um, so we're gonna take this, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally boom and flip it right on that grill. Check this out. Take that off, give it a nice smash, and then let's take off this. There we go. Here are our buns right there. Let's grab our burger sauce. You have to be ready for all this. You have to have everything mise en place out ready to go because this patty if you have it ripping hot just right it's only going to take three four minutes to cook remember guys coast to coast on your sauce every little bite there we go now for mine super simple we're just going to do some of the diced onion on the bottom some pickles on top and throw that patty on luckily i have this giant pizza spatula so it's going to make it a little bit easier for me we're just going to slide it under Give it a little bit of help. There we go. And then, boom! It's gonna immediately start laying my cheese on it. We do have American cheese because we're doing like that old school, old fashioned style smash burger. As soon as your cheese is melted, this is done. Just gonna let some of this grease drip off over here like this. Put it right on there. Oh baby, oh baby. I'm gonna throw our buns right on top. Bop! And that's it. And you could throw a bunch of these out. You could do two or three at a time. It's really easy, because essentially, you know, who doesn't make cheeseburgers and make like four or five burgers at a time when you're at a get together? Um, this makes it so each one of these is like making one large burger, but in reality, you're making 12 at a time. Give them a little bit of a cut. Look at that juicy, drippy goodness separate them out. I'm gonna toothpick them all up. How easy and fast is it to make all of those sliders? Let's get down to business with one of these bad boys. Check this out. That is the perfect bite right there. Mmm. That is so good. 
And that is your perfect old fashioned smash burger slider style. If you want more content like this, like and subscribe to Camp Chef. Check out our website, campchef.com. Check out more recipes. Cook with you soon. Check this out, check this out, check this out. I'll show you, check this out. Let me show you how to make 12 cheeseburgers at a time and make 12 at a time. A couple minutes and you make 12. You can do 12 at a time. But in reality, you're making 12 at a time.